Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's quick presentation. I hope everybody's gotten all their Christmas shopping done, preparing for Christmas um, and other celebratory uh, practices for this holiday season. And uh, if I don't get to chat with you prior to the new year of 2017, I'm wishing everyone the most abundant blessings for the year. But today I want to quickly take a moment just to talk about the top tips and salon ideas for the new year. So I'm going to share with you three tips for your business, three surefire ways to go into the new year prepared. Because we only have a little time left, and once the rush of the holiday season is over, you know, it's easy to feel a little deflated. You know, that's understandable. Just fight off the temptation to give in to the January blues just by setting yourself some smart, small business marketing goals and inject some intensity into your plans with the help of my top tips and salon ideas for the new year. So if you're ready, great, I am. Number one, promote January sales. If you're wondering how to increase sales, during this post-holiday slump, a sale is the best way to do it. You may not be able to offer the same kind of cheap discounts as the mega store or discount shops or even high-end shops, but that doesn't mean you have to skip on offering sales altogether. Get into the action without hurting your bottom line by creating special offers to, on your quiet days and by being selective about which services and actually which stylists you want to include in your ideas. For example, if you have a slow day of the week, say it's Wednesday, um, offer a Weave Wednesday special and incorporate uh, utilizing, well, not utilizing your master weave or extension specialist, but possibly scheduling one of the stylists uh, that are not usually as busy. Okay? Great. Two, try a New Year, New You campaign. I know that we do it every year, but add a spin to it. But there's a really good chance that many of your seasoned clients will be visiting you during the Christmas and New Year's, getting ready for various um, service and preparing for party season. So they may have um, Christmas plans, uh, parties that they want to go to and they're needing a new look, or even a New Year party plans. This can make it very hard to tempt them back through the door in the cold months. So, um but it's not impossible to do. Just create a new year, new you campaign that encourages customers to shake off the overindulgences of the festive season. Um, entice them with offers of a variety of services that will be fun to start the new year off with. And this can also help you to stimulate a little extra, think about it, a little extra during the beginning of the new year, which is always great. Okay. Um, three, offer them tempting deals to have them break down your door. Offer them things that they can't help but to wait to get into your chair. If you haven't already, it's not too late to run a gift card deal um, on one day during the holiday season or even in the month of January. Uh, that offers something like uh, maybe a buy two, get one free service. As long as the free treatment or service is redeemed, this is the caveat, it has to be redeemed during the slower winter months. Okay? Now, this will ensure that your salon, your barbershop, or even treatment center stays busy and looks inviting throughout um, January. And once you have your clients through the door, you have the chance to upsell treatments and services and retail lines as well. Most of all, remember that uh, to be merry and bright, even if you're exhausted after the holiday uh, season rush, when you're excited and your salon is looking good, 
clients will find it much harder to stay away. And I promised you three, but I would not be um, your coach um, as I pride myself in being without you sharing this. Uh, Now, before I go, uh, one thing I want to do is just briefly touch on, and I know we've talked about it before, but company finances. And this is the best time to talk about it before we enter the new year. Uh, Many times I encounter business owners who continually practice, (sighs) yet for a better terminology, with a hairdresser math to establish their business, which is to say um, they thought by doing their best behind the chair that the rest of their business would just fall into place. Now, here's the truth and the real secret. Real numbers don't lie. Now, please understand your finances. Take an honest look at your books with an accountant or CPA if necessary and determine exactly what you are spending in all areas, including your back bar, your your staff pay if you have any, your supplies, etc. And and then you want to next make a budget and you have to stick with it, okay? You have to stick to your budget. Okay? So that's just a little something I wanted to throw in. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, A few of my top tips and some line ideas for the new year of 2017. Um, Thank you for joining in today. And I just wanted to wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas and an abundantly blessed new year. This is Stephanie Anderson, trichologist and hair replacement coach for Trinity Lakes Weeks and Unisex Salon, wishing you all the best of the best. Goodbye and be blessed. See you soon. Bye-bye.